Hi everyone, welcome to our latest instructional video. Today we are going to show you how to quickly and easily set up your locally created website on Media Temple's managed hosting service utilizing Desktop Server by ServerPress. Our first step is to log into your account center on Media Temple and then select the Admin button next to the domain to which you would like to deploy your site as seen here. Next, select the Plesk Control Panel. In the right-hand sidebar, under Featured Applications, select the WordPress icon. Select Install Custom from the right-hand drop-down menu. Media Temple will now create your WordPress workspace and database. This process typically takes less than a minute to complete. If you are unfamiliar with the WordPress End User License Agreement, read through it and click the Acceptance checkbox, then click Next. Specify the location in which you would like to deploy your website. Please note that in order for Direct Deploy to function properly, you will need to install WordPress in the root directory, not a subdirectory. Select whether or not you would like WordPress to update automatically and then create an administrative username and password. Keep in mind that this username and password will only be valid until once the site deployment is complete. Once you have filled in all of the fields, click Install. Once installed, copy your domain name to your clipboard. Open up a new tab in your browser and go to your newly installed WordPress site to verify the installation. Now go to your WordPress dashboard by typing your domain name slash wp-admin. Enter your administrative username and password which was created during the installation and click Login. In the WordPress dashboard, select Plugins in the left-hand sidebar. Select Add New and type Desktop Server in the search field. Then click Search Plugins or press Enter, whichever you prefer. Once the search results are displayed, click on Install Now and then activate the plugin. Verify that the plugin installed properly by looking at your list of installed plugins and making sure that Desktop Server for WordPress is in bold text and has the option to deactivate. For this video, I have created a basic locally installed site using WordPress 3.6 and adding a free theme from the WordPress repository. Now would be a good time to mention that it is generally not a good idea to use a free WordPress theme unless it comes from the WordPress repository, as these themes have been vetted out by the WordPress team. Now it's time to start up Desktop Server. If prompted, select the option to start Apache and MySQL services and click Next. Once the services are started, click Next to get to the main desktop server menu. Select the option to export, import, or share a website, then click Next. Select the option to export or deploy a WordPress website, then click Next. Select the local dev website that you would like to deploy. Then enter the domain name to which you would like to deploy your site in the Export As field. This field must match your domain name exactly. You should be able to paste this information in as we copied it to your clipboard in an earlier step. Select Direct Deploy to an existing server. You will be prompted for an administrative username and password. This is the WordPress administrative username and password that you created on your Media Temple WordPress installation. Note that should you enter the incorrect information here, you will get a password error as shown. Once you have entered the correct information, click Next. In this step, we will be given several options. You can determine whether or not you wish to have the site crawled by search engines as well as whether or not you would like to customize the scrubbing options. Scrubbing is a very powerful feature within Desktop Server that goes through all of your database and files and replaces your dev URL with the live URL. This not only includes your database entries, but any static URL entries as well. In most cases, customizing your scrubbing options is not necessary, but for this video I am going to select the option to customize in order to demonstrate the entries that might need to be changed. Upon clicking Next, 
desktop server analyzes your files and displays a list of what it has determined to be the best search and replace options. If you notice that it is missing a dev to be replaced with your domain, you can manually add it here. In most cases, you should not need to do anything. If you did not select the customized scrubbing option, Desktop Server automatically moves on to the next step in the process of deploying your site. Once you have determined that everything looks okay, click Next. Desktop Server will now transfer your files and database to Media Temple. This can take anywhere from a few to several minutes depending on the size of your site. Once it has deployed your site, you will be notified and can click Next to continue. You have now successfully deployed your website to Media Temple. Click on the link given and Desktop Server will open up a browser window and take you to your newly uploaded site so that you can verify its functionality. Enter your dashboard by typing in your domain name and adding slash wp-admin to the end of it. Enter the username and password that you created for your local WordPress installation to verify that the user database properly transferred. Your dashboard should look identical to that of your local site. As an added precaution, it is always a good idea to resave your permalinks by clicking on Settings, Permalinks, and clicking Save. Congratulations, you're done. You've just deployed your website quickly and easily using Desktop Server's Direct Deploy feature. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope that you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop us a line at info at serverpress.com or visit us at www.serverpress.com.